Hello, hi, how are you? What have you been up to? For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm really big into trying to change my mindset at the moment and find more of a purpose in life in a sustainable way. I think quite often these self-help guides and self-help channels can influence you to make massive changes to your life that just aren't sustainable and they might help for a month or so and then slowly they just stop. So I love to find little changes in my life that help me to find gratitude and enjoy the little things a bit more. Recently when scouring through my new local bookshop I found this little gem of joys which is literally what it is. <laughs> The Joy of Small Things by Hannah Jane Parkinson is a collection of the things she finds little joys in every single day. Now, these aren't the big things like being able to have food or your parents and your family, your friends, they're nothing like that. They are the little things that we might overlook but actually bring us a lot of joy. I loved this idea so much that I started to compile together a list of things that bring me those little specks of joy every single day. Some of them are really surprising and embarrassing. This book, as you can probably tell by the, the spine, I adored reading. It really changed my mindset and how I do look at the little things that bring me joy. And as a result, I decided to come up with a list of things that bring me joy as well. Again, these aren't the big things. These are the little things that sometimes get overlooked. So here is my list of the little things that bring me joy. I will pop a link in the description so you can get your hands on this book too. It's not an ad, I just really bloody love it. Bedside tables. Okay, this might sound like a really ridiculous thing to bring you joy, but I have recently just moved and I spent about two weeks without a bedside table and getting one filled me with so much happiness. I don't have to reach down and scuffle around to try and find my inhaler in the night or find my bottle of water because it's just there conveniently next to my bed and I love a good bedside table, has to be the right height and I found that perfect. Walking past a bakery, granted most of the things in the bakery I can't eat because I'm vegetarian and all sorts of different things, but the smell. Oh. Submitting work early. I am a writer and I have deadlines and I love getting work in early because it's sort of a gift to yourself to have extra time to do other things. Well-read books. Broken spines, dog-eared corners, talking to houseplants. I mean, that's self-explanatory, who doesn't love? talking to the houseplants and if you don't try it the first day you realize the sun is out now, i don't mean when it's a sunny day i mean when it's been winter and you go outside for the first time without a jacket and you feel the sun on your arms my very very pale arms and it just you just soak it up mm. the sea does that even need an explanation no lorries without their trailers okay this might be a bit of a weird one for you to understand, but have you ever seen the front of a lorry driving past without its trailer on the back? Because it's so funny. It looks like they should topple over. Why don't they topple over? Just thinking about it. Going to the garden centre. The garden centre is an all round great day out. You can shop for plants, shop for homeware, and there's almost always a cafe too. What is not to love about that? making someone laugh. If you've got social anxiety like me, sometimes you kind of think you're saying the wrong thing. So when you make a joke and somebody laughs, that is pure bliss. I actually feel accepted in society when somebody laughs at my jokes or something I'm saying, or even if I'm being embarrassing and someone laughs, I kind of like that. There's a little joy in that. New sheets. I love when I get into bed and it's new set of sheets and it almost feels a bit crispy and I feel like a little autumn leaf just huddled there <sighs> and the smell. Mm. Spending a voucher. I am one of those people that hold on to vouchers for so long because I'm afraid I'm going to buy the wrong thing but when I do spend that voucher it's the best feeling. You're spending money but not your own money. 
and buying something you want. Like, how great is that? Who invented that? The countdown to an event. The events are great, that holiday, very exciting. But the countdown and the lead up to that, I love it. I have a countdown app on my phone and I love adding little things to it. Being the perfect temperature. Granted, this often happens at very inconvenient times, like when you're trying to get up in the morning. That literally happened to me this morning. That few minutes of being the perfect temperature and not worrying about getting up. Oh, most of my things on this list involve being in bed. <laughs> I just love coziness. <laughs> Taking your socks off in bed. If you've never done this, do it. Your feet just become the perfect little like temperature and the sheets feel nice. So get into bed with your socks and then just wriggle out of them. It feels great. Freshly washed hair. Obviously you can tell mine is freshly washed. Can't, literally can't tell the difference, but it smells nice. Hmm. Winter sun. I love it when it's cold outside and I have to wrap up, but the sun is shining. That is just such a lovely feeling. I think it's the juxtaposition of it. The smell of books. Oh, my big bag. I have this massive bag that fits my entire week's shop and I mean it. Sometimes I walk to the local shop, do my almost week's shop and carry it home. I look like a little hobbit with like his collection of stuff in his bag walking along. I don't know what people must think of me but I love that bag with all my heart. Sitting on an empty train. Who doesn't love getting on a train, expecting it to be busy, and it's completely empty? You can just look out the window, pretend you're in a music video, or listen to an audiobook, and it's just, there's no interruptions, you have your own private carriage. I love that. Lists. I'm literally making a list right now, and it's filling me with joy. <laughs> Good TV. Frasier. Only Fools and Horses, How I Met Your Mother, Friends. Who doesn't love sitting down to watch those programs? Even if you've watched them a hundred times, they are amazing, they give me so much comfort and never fail to make me laugh. Cancelling subscriptions. Don't know what it is about cancelling subscriptions, but that feeling of control and actually feeling a little bit like an adult, probably because that's the only time I ever actually feel like an adult. Dogs. Obviously, do I need to even explain? They give me so much joy. Even dogs I don't even know. I wave at dogs on the street. Making a baby laugh. My little cousin has just had a baby and he laughs all the time. He's so happy, but there is a little warmth and comfort in my chest when I squish his little cheeks or blow raspberries at him and he laughs. It just feels like this moment of, we are bonding, you are, laughing at me. You've only been able to laugh for five months and you choose to laugh at me. Phoning family. Even if it is just to say, hello, how are you? And the phone call lasts 10 minutes and it's done. I love having that little connection to my family and I really love catching up with them even if I don't see them face to face. I just really like to hear their voices and it's really lovely. A good audiobook. I recently got some headphones that are like big anti-social headphones so people know that I don't want to speak when I'm out and about. And listening to audiobooks through that, I recently listened to Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton, love it, amazing. And Mad Girl by Bryony Gordon and that, if you suffer from OCD, that makes you feel less crazy. So I recommend. <laughs> Being wrong and admitting it. Quite often in our lives, we really like to be right. And when we're having an argument, we really, really want to be right. But sometimes there is a little joy in that moment where you realize you're wrong and you feel comfortable enough to admit it. Find a little joy in that few seconds where you go, oh, yeah, I'm wrong. It's a turning point. Overnight oats. I love oats. Waking up in the morning and not having to make breakfast because you already made it for yourself the night before is like a gift from the past. Getting post right. I cannot explain how much I love getting post through the door. Doesn't matter what it is, except ideally not a bill. But when I see my name written on the front with the address and I just love opening it and seeing it, especially handwritten notes are quite literally one of the best things that ever existed in the entire universe and i mean it they are so great and just receiving post and unpeeling the envelope oh, 
There is something about that. That is 30 things that I find little joys in. There are hundreds more and since reading this book, I am definitely gonna notice them a bit more. I recommend if you're feeling in a little bit of a slump to just notice when you feel a little joy in your life. It can be so insignificant to anybody else and it can just be a fleeting moment, but write it down and I guarantee it'll help even just a little bit. I would love to hear some of your little joys. So why not share some with me? Even if you wanna write a whole list of 30 things that bring you little joys, I would love to read them because quite often I'll probably find some that I agree with and I can add to my own list. Again, I will leave a link down in the description for this book. I really loved it and I guarantee I'm gonna flick through it even more and I'll be recommending it to everybody. Please do let me know in the comments your little joys and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Okay, post credit fam, even though I don't have credits, how are you? Seriously, I read this in about four days and it brought me so much joy. In fact, I'm gonna add this book. The 31st thing on my list is this book. It's so lovely and it just made me really, really happy and I hope it can bring you some happiness too, even in the somewhat mundane, everyday things in life. So let me know down in the comments, and I will see you there. Um, I hope you're well, and thank you for those of you who actually listen to my end of credits waffle, because it means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!